From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Thursday, January 7th, 2016. In the news, Joe Miller says he's not seriously considering a challenge to U.S. Senator Lisa Murkowski this year, but has not completely dismissed the idea. Miller upset Murkowski during the 2010 Republican Senate primary, only to have Murkowski mount a write-in campaign to keep her job. Miller ran again in 2014, but finished behind Dan Sullivan. Miller says he continues to receive encouragement from people who believe Murkowski should be challenged. The UAF Cooperative Extension is making a push to highlight the dangers of radon. The chemical rises from the ground as uranium breaks down below the surface. Scientists say up to 60 percent of homes in some areas of the interior have excess radon levels. The gas is viewed as the leading cause of lung cancer behind smoking. Test kits can be purchased from the extension or hardware stores and should be placed in a home's lowest living area. High radon levels can be put in check by sealing cracks, balancing your furnace, or venting the air in your house. And with the arrival of the new year, a change will be taking place for the Fairbanks Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Bill Bailey, who is currently the public affairs representative for Alyeska Pipeline, will now be the chamber board president. Bailey and his wife Meadow are currently heading up the United Way fundraising campaign. He says he's excited about the upcoming year and working to achieve the chamber's priorities for 2016. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, partly cloudy, highs 5 to 10 above. Tonight, mostly cloudy, lows 0 to 15 below. Tomorrow, mostly clear, highs 5 to 10 above again. And note that all of those temperatures should average 10 to 20 degrees warmer in the hills. Extended outlook is mostly clear for the weekend, partly cloudy first part of next week. Highs mostly around 10, maybe a little warmer Saturday, lows 0 to minus 10. The air index is moderate in Fairbanks, unhealthy in North Pole, and the aurora forecast is active. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Don't forget, if you want our breaking news text alerts, we'll get you signed up if you text the word breaking to 33733. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.